वेलकम टू नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर इतेश दुलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन मोर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल बेस्ड ऑन थेविनेंस थियरम हियर दिस प्रॉब्लम इज बेस्ड ऑन इंडिपेंडेंट सोर्सेस सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द सर्किट यू सी वी हैव टू एम्पियर करंट सोर्स विच इज कॉन्स्टेंट एंड वी हैव टेन वोल्टेज बैटरी विच इज ऑल्सो कॉन्स्टेंट सो आई कैन से दिस सोर्सेस आर इंडिपेंडेंट सोर्सेस एंड अवर क्वेश्चन इज टू फाइंड थेविनेंस इक्विलेंट नेटवर्क नाउ सी थेविनेंस इक्विलेंट नेटवर्क दैट विल बी अ सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ वी टी एच एंड आर टी एच राइट सो हियर अवर एजेंडा इज टू आइडेंटिफाई वी टी एच एंड आर टी एच फॉर दिस गिवन नेटवर्क सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू फर्स्ट हाउ वी कैन फाइंड वी टी एच now my dear students when you want to find vth then only one thing that you'll have to do you'll have to remove all the circuit which is there at output and then you should measure voltage at output so here at output nothing is connected so we don't need to eliminate anything and we need to measure voltage at output so let us say here i am measuring voltage by this polarity plus minus so this will be our vth voltage right now as plus minus polarity is there i can say vth that is a voltage which is happening at this node and this is ground now to identify vth only one node is there so by nodal analysis we can easily solve this problem so for nodal analysis let me consider current randomly so in this link let us say current i1 is passing like this in this link let us say current i2 is passing like this and in this link let us say current i3 is passing like this right randomly you can consider any direction but after considering direction calculation is very essential so let us apply nodal analysis at node vth so if you apply nodal analysis then entering current is equals to leaving current so if you observe entering current is i1 to this node and leaving current is i2 and i3 so i can say i1 is equals to i2 plus i3 now it is very essential that how to provide values of i1 i2 and i3 now you see i1 that is happening as per this current source and direction of current source and i1 that is same so i can say i1 is equals to 2 ampere so i1 is 2 and that is equals to now i2 so i2 is tail minus head tail voltage is vth and head voltage is plus 10 voltage so i can say vth minus 10 divided by resistance that is i2 so vth minus 10 divided by 10 that is i2 plus i3 now you see i3 is happening in this direction so tail that is vth voltage and head is ground so vth by 20 that is i3 so let us simplify this to have vth so 10 by 10 so that is 1 that will go on other side so 3 equals to vth common into 1 by 10 plus 1 by 20 now if you further simplify this then this will be vth into if you take lcm then here 20 will be our lcm right and here will be having 3 so i can say vth that is equals to 20 now let us calculate value of rth now my dear students whenever you want to calculate value of rth then you will have to see first what type of sources are given is it independent source is it dependent source right now here you see we have independent source 2 ampere current that is independent source and 10 voltage battery that is independent source 
so for independent source we should be having voltage source as short circuit and current source as open circuit so here i need to replace this current source as open circuit so i am eliminating this you see and voltage source as short circuit so i need to provide a short circuit instead of this voltage source so this is the basic thing which we need to follow voltage source should be short circuited and current source should be open circuited for independent sources now here we will be having rth at load and simply we can have rth as per this parallel combination so i can say rth that is 10 parallel 20 that is 10 into 20 divided by 10 plus 20 so that is 200 by 30 so that has to be 6.67 ohm so now i have rth as well as vth so i can have thevenin's equivalent circuit as per series connection of vth and rth let me show you that now you see here we have terminal a and b rth is 6.67 ohm and vth that we have calculated that is 20 voltage so vth is 20 voltage so this is how we can reduce complexity of circuit by using thevenin's theorem i hope you have understood this and in next few videos you will be getting few more examples related to dependent sources right and those examples are very tricky you should see that as in that there is a little change in calculation of rth equivalent and if you see that change then it will be easier for you to understand all the network which is there in terms of resistance inductance and capacitance i hope you have understood this and if you have any further queries just place that in comment box I'll be definitely going to solve your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video.